All right, guys, we're gonna install that laminate flooring that we got from Bolt uh, the other day. We need to cut it to size first, so what we're gonna do is, uh, Got our tape measure out, we're gonna measure it. I'll mark on the floor where we need to uh, cut at and we'll go from there. I got some spray adhesive also that we're gonna cut it to size, lay it down in, then I'll fold up the corners and uh, spray that spray adhesive on it and then put it back down and get it nice and tight on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure. It's a little dirty still, we need a vacuum, but I'm gonna measure from side to side. Now, we got these little corners here that we gotta measure for that we're gonna cut those out because those are, a, back here is a little bit narrower than up front. Watch out, Abby. And it looks like this side is wider than that, so I'll have to notch out a bigger piece over here. Should be pretty simple to do, so. I got the flooring up here. I'm gonna get that down for Jason. This is it. He's gonna take it to the back of the box and get it cut out while I clean the floor. Perfect. And like I said, it's, it's a nice vinyl. Oh, it is thick um, too, yeah. You know, and, and what I did was I, I went through, uh, you know, a lot of people have dogs. And, and yeah, yeah, and yeah. And so I, I started from the, the lock together. Uh, did you guys have the, the wood? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. So I switched from that, I went to lock together vinyl, okay? Which was more expensive, really good, nice product. Yeah. And then um, on the M2s, they would put a APU with a different type of uh, bunk or uh, you know, AC unit in the back, different than ours. Yeah. And, and they would tend to plug up and flood, and yeah. then that would ruin the subfloor. Yeah. So even yeah. though I solved the on the surface part, I didn't solve the, the subfloor when, when part. When water gets underneath. Yeah. Right? Yeah. For us to change a floor is about twelve hundred bucks. So I think I took that. Yeah. Phone, right? Yeah. Yeah. And and even even though. It, it, you know, we're not into, hey, let's fix things for people as a revenue stream. Our revenue are the sleepers. Yeah. So, but for us to replace the floor, even if it, you know, if it was our fault, we replace it, not a big deal. If it's not, it's, it's a $1,200 floor. But even though that, it, some people would say, hey, man, wow, that's a source of revenue. We could make money. We're like, no, let's figure out how to solve this Fakes problem. It. Right, even right. if we're not creating the problem, right. let's figure out how to solve it. Right. So now... I went to this, yeah, and, and I tell people, if you land in a pond, I will not have to replace your floor for you. <laughs> yeah, you know, because what what happens, you know, and and I've never been a driver, but what I think about is, you know, I got so my shoes, yeah, dog with a ball, oh whatever. My God. So that wood laminate floor, um, even though people have been using it for years, uh, was was just a, a product we needed to. to uh, we just need to transform into something better. And that's yeah, why I went to block yeah. the other vinyl, like I said, which was a really, really nice product. People love it. Right. And then, like I said, then the subfloor um, was the next issue of when somebody had a water problem, whether it's bolt or somebody else, water gets underneath, well, you end up with the same issue. Yeah. And now we, we have no wood in it whatsoever unless somebody requests it. Right. But when they request it, then I try to tell them, hey, here's a potential. If you have a water problem, yeah. Here's the potential. Right. Well, this right. solved all that. And like I said, as you can tell, it, it's a, I mean, yeah, that's really it's not the nice thin vinyl. Yeah, it, it is thing. really yeah. thick. It's yeah. actually yeah. nice, nice vinyl grade. It's expensive. Now we put this in, in all of our trucks unless somebody requests it. Right. And you guys are putting this right over the the and rubber, the the rubber mat? Yes, sir. Right yeah. Right yeah. And 90% of the ones that ever come in here um, are always that funky. Yeah. On, on the MQs, because it's like I tell people. We put everything the same in the Cascadia. Yeah. But we don't have the problem with the Cascadia. Yeah. 
It's always the M2. So when people call, well, you know, I mean, you, you do what you're used to seeing. I say, okay, well, it's always been the bunk unit. It's probably the bunk unit. However, a couple people have tripped me up a little bit because I've never been a driver. Yeah, this is my trucking experience. Yeah. So some people trip me up a little bit, and it's like, oh well, the truck is empty, and it's winter time. I'm like, oh, well, you, you know, you, you didn't tell me that on the phone. Yeah. So odds are, if you don't completely blow the water system out, you end up the hot water heater freezes. Freezes. And yeah. What you want to do? When it yeah. The water cars. pump. Yeah. Water pump um, too. Or some people will leave the truck set, then the, the freezer's got ice built up all around it. The refrigerator, the, when you open the door, there's all these holders in the door. Yeah. They're full of water. Yeah. yeah. So that tells me that there's cake, ice caked up all over the, the, the freezer. Freezer. And yeah. somebody left the truck, it thawed out, thawed out, and filled up those trays, and whatever yeah. they fill up in the trays, yeah. Yeah. no place else to go but on the floor. Right. Why, so, why wouldn't that freezer stuff go down the... Drain the drain tube, tube though. It, it might have been warm. Yeah. You know, and I think that was our problem that, because that, I, blew, I blew the hole out yeah. and some stuff came out of it. Uh, yeah. oh, that's just a little plastic tray under here. You know, we, yeah, we buy yeah. the refrigerator, we don't build them. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's just a little plastic nor, nor tray. Cold. And, and if it's and it's at a probably a, a six degree angle. Yeah. And, and hypothetically, if your truck's like this, yeah. well, it's, it's not going to go out the right. tube. It's going to go <laughs> out the front. Right, right. And we pride ourselves on calling the owners, talking to drivers, Given an honest opinion, you know, and sometimes I hate to say that honest opinion is, eh, we kind of screwed that up. We'll yeah, it. yeah, yeah. But, but we pride ourselves on if we do it, we own it. Uh, if we don't, we just we just give the story what it is and try right. to minimize whatever the repairs. Right, right. And like I said, and that's what led to the vinyl floor. Yeah. Even though now I'm not going to be replacing floors and making money off replacing floors. Hopefully, I have a happier customer that, that never has to replace it for right, no matter right. whose fault it is. Right. That's nice. Yeah, I yeah. like the thickness of it, and it's still kind of soft. Yeah, it's yeah, not it, too yeah, hard on. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be too. On it. Yeah, it's not going to be um, too hard on the feet. And it's got texture, texture to it. So one of the things that we decide to do is that we were, you know, when you think of vinyl, and I've seen vinyl in other trucks, it's really paper thin. Yeah. It's just yeah, cheap yeah, vinyl. Yeah. 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 This is this is really 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 nice great vinyl. This is probably comparable price-wise to that vinyl floor right there. Oh, really? And that vinyl floor, like I said, was more expensive than the one I re than the wood stuff I replaced. But right. I said for us, it wasn't a matter of well, I got to put a few more dollars in the truck. It was how can I keep them from coming back for me to repair this stuff? Yeah, right. yeah. So to us, that's important. Yeah. Um, I can roll this up for you. Okay. All right, guys, so we finished the floor. I went in the back of the box, so I had a nice flat surface to be able to cut it evenly and cut out the notches. I got the notches cut out real nice. Uh, it goes right into the corner. It looks really, really good. I, I actually think this looks better than the flooring I, I, that was in I here. I like the sideways. Before, it was long point. Yeah. This one is sideways. I don't know why. I just like that yeah. kind of better. I like it the side really to good. side look better. It looks really good. So the only thing that we didn't do is we didn't glue it down. We bought a spray adhesive. Actually, let me show you that and what we got. Where did I put it? Oh, duh. Right here. <laughs> oh, sorry, we've been crazy today. Crazy day. So this is what we bought. It's a spray adhesive. It's just an all-purpose spray adhesive. And this is going to be really easy just to spray around the perimeter or even on the whole thing. We're not going to spray this on there just simply because we want the new people to have a chance to get in here just in case there's any other water problems coming from the fridge that may happen in the next little while, you know. Hey, well, well, I'm gonna show him 
how to blow out that drain tube every once in a while. I almost think that should probably be a regular maintenance, maintenance. item to do. Yeah, yeah. We'll do a separate video on that. Um, as a maintenance, as a, as a maintenance so, yeah. type of item that you guys should probably be keeping up with on. You know, at least uh, every time you go home, if you shut your refrigerator off uh, to thaw out or get some of that ice buildup thawed out, um, that would be a good thing to do is uh, blow that tube out uh, before you go on your home time so then the water drains down that and then instead of out into your sleeper so like Mark had said you know if we're not on a level ground and that's draining it's not going to drain down that tube either and it could overflow in over the pan but um, yeah guys I think it looks really really good I think it's really really nice you know thanks Thanks uh, to Fox and Bolt yeah. for giving us the, the piece of vinyl. They didn't charge us for that, which is, is really awesome and, you know, really good for our owner. I mean, we wouldn't have had to pay for it anyway, but our owner doesn't have to pay for it either. And I think that's really great. Like I've always said, Bolt is an awesome company. And, yeah, we appreciate it. And I know our owner is going to appreciate it too. So, so yeah, guys, if Give this video a thumbs up if you like the flooring too. And thank you for watching and subscribing until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting.